All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to help you um, install the Yoast SEO plugin and get your sitemap URL out of that to uh, go ahead and configure um, Google Sitemaps. So I'm on my website right now and I'm gonna to go to my WordPress dashboard. Now I already have the Yoast SEO plugin installed. If you don't, go ahead and go to plugins, add new. And up in the search bar, you would type in Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T, SEO. And you would go ahead and click the Install Now button on that. Now, obviously, I already have it installed, so it's telling me to update it. Um, once you have the plugin installed and activated, um, if it does not activate automatically, go ahead and do that. Um, after you have it activated, you will go to your SEO tab on your dashboard. And... I already have the advanced features enabled and you likely won't by default. So you'll have to go to the features tab in Yoast SEO and under advanced settings pages, make sure that is set to enabled and click save changes. And after you do that, you're going to get this whole menu of stuff under your SEO tab. So from there, you'll go to XML sitemaps and you'll see right here you can find your XML sitemap here. And when you click that link, it takes you to your sitemap URL. And what you're gonna do from there is you're going to copy that URL out, right click and copy, go to your Google search console, which is google.com forward slash webmaster and sign in. And underneath the uh, Underneath the site that you are looking to change, you would click the URL. Obviously, this isn't my site, but I'm just doing this as an example. Um, click the site. Then you would go to, let's see here, sitemaps over on the right-hand side. Click add slash test sitemap. And you would put in just the URL, or just the uh, the part of the URL that's the file. So it would be the sitemap underscore index.xml. Um, that's what you would want to make sure is there. And then you would click submit, and that would add your sitemap to uh, Google Search Console. So they have a full list of all of your pages to start indexing. Um, okay, well. Janice, I will be in contact with more information um, later this week when we can uh, try and get a kind of a baseline of how your site's doing and try and get these 404 errors resolved and all of that stuff. So, all right, if you have any questions about this, feel free to email me back. All right, thank you.